All right, this is uh, starting to move our sprites. So lesson eight was all about the counter pattern and looking at uh, creating a sprite and then assigning values and updating values of the sprite like the dot X and dot Y. This is now gonna go into um, like moving using the counter pattern. So it's really fantastic um, where we can use this pattern of X gets X plus one um, and this is what our counter pattern is. It's, this is the generic form. This is going to increase the counter by one every time through the, the draw loop. So if you notice, it goes fairly quickly through that draw loop um, to add to the counter. Um, so to get our object to move across the screen, we need to update its x value by a certain increment. So in this case, we did plane.x gets plane.x plus three. And if I want to move it slower, I just change that value to like a one. Um, and now it moves a third the speed. Um, I could also use decimal points. So I could use, you know, 0 0.1. And now it moves really slowly across the screen um, as it goes. So these are things you could do if you want to go really fast. 10 is a really fast speed, you know, to go across that small of a space. Um, but it all depends on the size of your plane. You know, if I take my plane, um, it doesn't actually let me do it, but if I did it in the text, I can actually do it um, because it doesn't give me that block, but I could do plane.scale and I could make it a half size plane. Now when I run it, you can see that that, you know, it doesn't look as fast because it's not, it's a smaller object on there. Um, as it's moving. So I could bump this up to 20, you know, as it, as it zips across there. So you can do that um, depending on the size and scale of your, you know, your frame there. If I made him 0.25, it goes across. Um, so anyway, that's uh, the counter pattern. The rest of these are just doing that same type of thing where you're just manipulating X and Y values. Um, so it goes horizontally or vertically or doing both at the same time. So you can get them to move diagonally. So again, you can at any time, you can you know pause the video um, and, and get the activities done. But really, like if I want to move something diagonally, I've got to change both the X and Y. And if I want to make it so it rotates a certain direction, uh, then I use my rotation uh, block, um, those kind of things. But again, the more realistic our movement looks, the better um, it'll be. This is a great slide right here. So if you learn anything, learn that this is the generic form of the counter pattern, and then look at how this moves these three objects, one down the page, one right, and one down and right using X and Y changes in that. Other things we can do with a counter pattern is we can do a rotation, we can do a scale, we can do a width and height adjustments um, with our counter patterns. So lots of creativity that you have in these. The rest of this um, is just going through these things. So um, these different activities, but that's pretty much it. Creating some animations, creating your own animations. Um, but I'm gonna let you kind of do the rest on your own. Uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, from there. That's lesson nine.